Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first project of 2022 for Spiegel Mom Scrap. So I'm coming to you today with a share. Um, after I did my first 12 by 12 layout of the I had not done a 12 by 12 since mid early-ish actually December and I've been doing so many 6 by 8 that my, my brain sort of got out of the habit of 12 by 12 and I found that first one quite hard so I just took a little zen break of about an hour to just do this fun and easy 6 by 8 page so again I'm sorry it's just a share but it is a very simple uh, layout that just really focuses both on the photo and of course the sequence and I love doing that kind of thing. So the idea behind this one is simply the lights in my neighborhood. I love lights, fairy lights in the summer, Christmas lights um, in in December. I love, I, I if it were up to me I would just leave lovely little colorful lights out year round. I don't think they need to be just for Christmas or any kind of specific time of the year. What do you think? Should we not just have lovely little colorful lights out all the time? I love when I get home from work and I'm a little bit tired, I love to just sit by the light of my own Christmas tree with no other lights on and just stare out at the neighborhood, the lights and the calm. I live in a very quiet little neighborhood in a very small town, so the evenings just tend to be nice and calm and therefore calming. So I used my 6x8 and I did that using this lovely 12x12 12 12 sheet that I got in the package from Colleen. I paired it with my Auburn Lane 6x8 paper pad, which I had been hoarding and I am now trying to use. You saw this one on my Stash Dive Tuesday uh, layout for sure. And then I wanted to use the Home Sweet Home sequin mix. Now this was originally in um, the pigment, one of the pigment splash kits that we had last month, the gorgeous, gorgeous, that had some shimmers, inklings in it, and some lovely, lovely trim, as well as this gorgeous sequin mix designed by my friend Sarah, Sarah Scraps. And I just love the colors of this. And this, to me, looks like the perfect, all of the perfect shades of gorgeous Christmas lights. Don't you think? Don't you agree? I just love it. So my idea for this, I mean, my photo uh, with the matting is about the four by four. Uh, so it's going to, of course, take up a lot of space on the page. So it doesn't need an awful lot more. So I thought the photo and then bringing into focus the sequence would be pretty much all it needed. I took my sunburst stencil, 6x6 six six stencil, used a little bit of Nouveau Glacier paste in winter white to give a little added sparkle, which is sort of like the, the, that of the lights, you know, what, what do you call it? In French, we call it le rayonnement, le rayonnement des lumières. I don't, I don't know what you call that in, in English, you know, the, when it, shoots out. Oh my God, somebody is probably yelling the word to me. Anyway, I thought the paste would give it some extra shimmer. And then of course it acts as the perfect glue for the sequence. So really I just did my paste and then using a very small spoon, I uh, put the sequence all over the page then sort of shook it out and then put some more sequins. I did place just a few here and there when they seem to be a little bit out of place. Pop my photo up on foam and I sort of love that effect. I think it's just perfect for a layout about lights. And then because of the calm and a little bit of the story in the journaling, the perfect title to me was Lights, Camera, No Action. I thought that was kind of cute and maybe just a touch clever. Anyway, so Lights, Camera, No Action. So I used some, this is from the Vicki Booten, uh, Warm Wishes, the gold and white. 
camera I have I, I tried the gold from the happy life but I found it sort of blended into the background just a little bit too much so I brought the copper out and I don't mind mixing my metals at all unless now you see it's funny because I wanted to add some gold stars the from the joyful collection and I found them just too sort of brassy and I mentioned that to you again in in didn't I say that in my last layout so I don't know maybe those stars I love them they're gorgeous on their own but I think they probably just need to be used on their own anyway that's beside the point. So I used the copper and then I went into my stash and I used these very, very old alphas from October afternoon, the Daily Flash collection in the off-white and gray. I found the black was a little too stark because this background here is not black. It's more of a charcoal with actually the foiling is more copper than it is gold. And I thought the off-white here or the vanilla blended in better. And the gray was just sort of the perfect amount of color or neutral color. Got my journaling down. Added a few more sequins to finish this off. So there you go, my friends. I just love, love using sequins to really... I mean, if you look at this here, basically the sequins are the embellishment. So I have photo, matte, sequins, and title. As simple as that. And to me, this is a beautiful um, layout, if I may say so myself. Um, so I have, of course, my affiliate link is down below in the description. If you want to pop over to the shop, use my code MOIRA15 to get yourself a little bit of a discount and, and spread your budget out a bit. And using my affiliate code doesn't change anything. It gets you directly to the shop, but it does give me or help my channel out a little bit because it does give me a teeny little commission. So thank you so much for being here with me. Tell me how do you, what's your favorite way to use sequins and do you tend to use them only as an accent or do you like to use them as the main focus of embellishment, you know, like a shaker pocket or this kind of thing? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you back here very, very soon. Bye for now, my friends.